Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Toronto Blue Jays at Exhibition Stadium. On the mound for the Tigers today is Jack Morris, whose record is 0-1 with a 4.85 ERA. And pitching for the Blue Jays today is Steve Davis, whose record is 1-0 with a 3.86 ERA. Okay, uh, so we won the first game of the three-game series yesterday. Dave Rosema pitched good enough to get the win. He went five and two third innings, but he didn't hang around uh, long enough for us to get the lead. The Blue Jays jumped up on us early, and we had to claw our way back. We scored a run in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. Uh, the ninth inning was a home run from Ken Smith, so that kind of capped things off for us. And we uh, walked away with the victory, which is good because the Blue Jays one two of three uh, in our first series of the year in the opening series so uh, i'd like to think that we're as good or better than the blue jays who have lost every game uh since those first two victories against us uh so we move on to game two of the series it's uh, both starting pitchers are, were the pitchers on opening day in which uh, morris uh, took the loss the blue jays won six to five so if we, we'll see if we can't get a little bit of revenge on uh, Toronto today. Uh, so before we get started with today's game, a quick reminder that we are having a contest. I am giving away. Uh, this is the first contest of the, of the year. We try to do like three or four uh, every season. And so uh, we are giving away this 1989 score. Paul Gibson, uh, technically his rookie card, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that in the last game. But what makes this card special uh, is that Luis Salazar, our second baseman back in 88, uh, is grabbing his crotch. And uh, this card was deemed offensive by uh, collectors and their mothers. Uh, so they actually ended up uh, yellowing or whitening this arm out. Uh, and they have a, a reprint card, uh, which is, uh, shows it doesn't, doesn't have the uh, hand grabbing the crotch and so we're giving away this card uh, and i might throw in a couple other fun things uh with uh this contest but you have to be a subscriber and just leave a, a comment below uh that you want to be in the contest and we will get you added to it okay let's move on to today's game as always i appreciate everyone following along like and or subscribe to the channel we've got Jack on the mound. The current Blue Jays are batting 215 against him. That's 99 plate appearances. I believe that includes opening day. Uh, Dave Smith is not available today as a closer. So if we've got to go with somebody, I guess we go with uh, Carl Willis if it's a right-handed group of batters. Or maybe we go to Dave Rucker if we need to go with a lefty. Then we have our lineup today versus Steve Davis. He is a left-hander, and uh, we've done a couple. We're going to give two, two players a break today, I guess. Uh, we're going to give Trammell the day off. He's off to a good start, but he started every game so far, and we want to keep him healthy for the whole season. He's been injured a couple of times in our sim, and then when he goes down, the team tends to sputter. So Doug Baker will be making his first start at shortstop, and we're going to get Lance Parrish back in there at catcher today. He's a right-hander, so that makes sense uh, over Terry Kennedy. Let's take a look at the Tigers' official lineup rundown for today's ballgame. Betting leadoff, playing center field, is Chet Lemon. Betting second at third base is George Brett. Betting third and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting cleanup and DHing is Ken Smith. Batting fifth in right field is Glenn Wilson. Batting sixth at first base is Greg Brock. Batting seventh in left field is Kevin Bass. Batting eighth at second base is Lou Whitaker. And batting ninth is the shortstop, Doug Baker. Okay, Steve Davis. He's 1-0 with that 386 ERA, making his third start of the year. Uh, as I mentioned, he did start on opening day. And he went seven in innings, giving up three runs against us and seven hits. Did not walk anybody, and he got the win. And you can see he uh, 
made a start on April 7th against Boston, a team that has got a, you know, a ton of offense. Uh, he went seven innings, giving up three runs and six hits, but he walked four in that appearance, and he got a no decision. Uh, overall, his fastball tops out at 92 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is right around 45%. A two-pitch pitcher, both pitches are decent. A splitter rated in 83, a fastball rated in 82, with 80 being the league average. Overall, he is rated an 86 to 23-year-old lefty, is arbitration eligible at the end of next year. Let's take a look at the Blue Jays' defense. We have a different catcher in this ballgame. We have Kevin Paisley behind the plate, making his first appearance of the season defensively. He's very good. Uh, his arm is rated an 86. So I don't know if we'll be running today. And we've got Chet Lemon leading off against Steve Davis. Here we go. Keep the winning streak alive. And Davis walks Chet Lemon. I'm beginning to find myself uh, in favor of having Lemon be our everyday leadoff man. He does always find a way to get things kicked off. Let's hit and run with George Brett, lefty on lefty violence here. Wait, it says no at-bats versus Davis. That is not correct. Obviously, he just started versus Davis 10 games ago. There's a fly ball into right field from Brett. Lemon will have to hold. One out. Lance Parrish up. We decided to give Parrish the number three spot in the lineup. He's struggling mightily. Maybe moving him up will get him jump-started. Nope, a ground ball to first, and that'll be a double play. Oh, no, Parrish will beat it out. That seemed like a for sure double play. Instead, it's just two outs with a runner on first. Here is Ken Smith. Hit a second home run, as I mentioned, yesterday in the ninth inning. And he goes to left for a single. Nicely done. Parrish will have to hold. Parrish has nothing to offer. He can't hit. He's got terrible speed. He's got no power, and his defense is terrible. I feel so bad. All right. Uh, first and second. Two down. Glenn Wilson at the plate. He's our best hitter so far this year, betting 378. No home runs, but he's got six doubles already. Ground ball to second from Wilson, and that will do it. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Blue Jays lineup rundown. Betting leadoff playing third base is Denny Gonzalez. Betting second at shortstop is Jeff Houston. Betting third at second base is Vic Rodriguez. Betting cleanup in center field is Lloyd Mosby. Betting fifth in left field is Greg Luzinski. Betting sixth and DHing is Chris Zabo. Betting seventh at first base is Willie Upshaw. Betting eighth and catching is Kevin Paisley. And batting ninth is the right fielder, Ruben Amaro Jr. Okay, this is Jack Morris's third start of the season. Does, uh, not, does not have a win as of yet. He's 0-1 with a 485 ERA, 12 strikeouts in 13 innings pitched. He's walked seven. He's already given up a couple home runs. Opponents are batting 260 against him. His fastball tops out at 94 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44%. He's a four-pitch pitcher with three very good pitches. The splitter, the fastball, and the slider. Overall, he is rated an 86. The 28-year-old right-hander is a free agent at the end of the year. And, I mean, I think we have to sign him, right? I mean, how could we not have Jack Morris? Uh, you'll see here he went five and two-thirds in that first start against Toronto giving up six runs. The defense let him down. Uh, he had three unearned runs that ball game to go with giving up nine hits. He did strike out seven, walk three. A very uneven performance for Morris. Let's take a look at our defense here. Uh, while you can't see Lemon out there in center field, but we know he's solid. Everywhere else is pretty good. Um, what is Parrish's arm? Has that gone down a lot too? That's an 82, so it's above league average, which is, I mean, that's correct. Parrish was one of the better uh, two-way players. Great offensively, great defensively. 
in uh, the 80s. Everywhere else we're solid. Doug Baker at short, we don't mind. He's got a 90 rating out there. And I guess I forgot to mention that Gibby is out of this ball game. We got Kevin Bass in left field. Okay, here we go. Denny Gonzalez leading off versus Jack Morris. And yeah, it says here he's never faced Morris. So we know that's not true. So the game is, I mean, we already know how flawed, flawed this game is. Morris strikes out. Gonzalez, there's one down. That's going to bring up Jeff Houston. Houston had the home run in that game. It was Houston's first career home run. He hit off Jack Morris. Here he pops it up to second, and Whitaker making the catch. Two quick outs for Jack. That's going to bring up Vic Rodriguez. And he strikes him out too. So Morris strikes out two of the first three batters to go to the top of the second. No score. Greg Brock leading off. This is something we don't do very often. We're letting Brock bat versus lefties. But you know what? We do not have a right-handed bat to play first. Uh, so we have to let Brock play. He's played in every game, started every game so far. And a base hit in the center field. So maybe we just need to let him uh, grip it and rip it versus the lefties. Leadoff man is on. Here's Kevin Bass. As I mentioned, in left field today, batting 100 so far. Ground ball to second. That could be a double play. It is. So Bass off to a bad start. Two outs. Here is Sweet Lou. 248 hitter last year versus lefties. And a ground ball to first. That'll do it. We're going to the bottom of the second. Mosby leading off, followed by Luzinski and Chris Zabo. Lloyd Mosby, he was a terror against us last year. Flies out to left field. He got a three-home run game against us here in Exhibition Stadium. One out. Greg Luzinski strikes out. Three Ks for Morris. Looks like he's worked out whatever he had going wrong in that first start and then Chris Zabo gets a hit into left field Zabo is what is he two years ahead of schedule in this game he wasn't a rookie until 85 he's on first for Upshaw and Zabo tries to steal second and Parrish guns him down don't run on no pants Lance that's my large adult son you're trying to steal on. We go to the top of the third inning. Doug Baker will lead off. Baker over one in a pinch hitting roll. And a base hit back through the box. So we have the leadoff man on for the third consecutive inning. We need to do something with it this time, though. We're going to try to hit and run here. Last time we tried to hit and run with Brett, he flew out, so... Let's see if we can at least get Baker into scoring position. Nope, that's not going to get it done. As Lemon flies out to center. Do we dare steal? No, it's only 63% chance. I guess we let George Brett eat. Let the big dog eat. Fly ball to right. That's out number two. Here he is, Lance Parrish, 0 for 1. Oh, 3 0 count. Hey, but they walk Parrish. So at least he's getting on base today. He's touching first base. He forgot how that felt. First and second. Two down, and Kenny Smith is up. Smith had that base hit first time through. And Davis walks him. Now he's playing with fire because it's Glenn Wilson, and Wilson just crushes. Left-handers. He batted 294 last year with a 545 slugging percentage. This would be a great time to go Grand Salami. 1-0 count. Oh, he put it up there to fall in. Get down. Yes, a base hit. That'll score two. Wilson with a two RBI single. Ken Smith goes to third. And the Tigers are on the board. It's 2-0. First and third now for Greg Brock. Brock shocked the world with a base hit. 
in the second. Pulls it to the right side. And it's an error on the second baseman. Oh my gosh. Vic Rodriguez boots it. Another run scores. And it's second and third for Kevin Bass. This would be a good time for Bass to get things right. He's a switch hitter. He's batting right-handed. And a ground ball to short. And that will do it. So the Tigers put three runs on the board. We go to the bottom of the third. And it's the bottom third of the lineup up for the Blue Jays. Starting with Willie Upshaw. He was at the plate when Zabo was thrown out. 1-0 count to Upshaw. And he gets a base hit to left. That is the second hit against Morris. Here's Kevin Paisley. First time we're seeing him. If you look at what he's done in our sim, he look, it looks like he's just been a late season call up. Uh, he got 11 at bats in 82, four last year. That's one game. And now he's the backup catcher on the Blue Jays. They had Gina Petrali. Petrali went to Boston. I, th I believe Petrali had 31 home runs last year, too. Uh, but you see, he's played for the Dodgers and then Seattle uh, and the Dodgers in uh, 77. Went to Seattle in 78, so. Here we go. Jack facing Kevin Paisley. 2-2 two -two count. That was high and outside. He took a cut anyway. Popped it up into right field. Shallow right field. For out number one. So one down. Here is Ruben Amaro Jr. And a base hit to right. Upshaw holding at second. Glenn Wilson's got a great arm out there. Let's try to get a double play here. We know double plays are difficult in Exhibition Stadium. Oh, he strikes out Denny Gonzalez. Four Ks for Morris, and we're on the verge of getting out of this jam. Houston's got three home runs, as I mentioned yesterday, despite having a 72 power. So, I mean, if he goes deep here... I'm going to be very frustrated. Oh, Morris walks him. So the bases are loaded for Vic Rodriguez, whose error scored the third run. There's a chance here to make up for it. Let's see if, if Morris can get him. Oh, no. 3-1 count. Ground ball up the middle. Whitaker making the play. So Morris pitches himself out of the jam to go to the top of the fourth. Sweet Lou leading off. Whitaker batting only 184 this year. No power yet. Despite having a, a career high in home runs last year. He had 26 home runs. All right. One down. Next up is Doug Baker. Had a base hit in his first at-bat. Popping it up here as Davis jams him inside. Good at bat, though, for Baker. The number nine hitter made him throw nine pitches. That's what you got to do. So Davis is up to 70 pitches. There's two down. Back to Chet Lebman, 0 for 1 with a walk and a ground ball to second. We'll end the inning. Moving on to the bottom of the fourth. It's Mosby, Luzinski, and Zabo. Mosby. There it is. God, he always comes through against us. This is a home run to left field. He goes up Taco. 359 feet. That is his second home run on the season. He had 31 last year. No, he had 30 last year. I wish we could go back and look at the game logs from last season. But that's unnecessary, I suppose. So 3-1. to one. Detroit. Here is the bull, Greg Luzinski. Luzinski hits a ground ball to Baker. Easy play. One out. Next up is Chris Zabo. He singled in his first at bat. Ground ball to third. Brett makes the play. He's been struggling. He's got five errors at third base in ten games. That's, that's not uh, all-star caliber. Oh, no, and then Willie Upshaw gaps it. 
all the way to the wall for a double. That is Willie Upshaw's second double of the year. So a runner in scoring position with two down and the catcher, Kevin Paisley, up. Paisley gets a base hit to right. It is now 3-2. to two. What is it with Morris? He's given up six hits and a walk today. I feel like he's just not an ace in this game. There's a ground ball from Amaro, and Whitaker makes the play. So the Blue Jays get two runs in the inning, and they close it to within one. 3-2 to two Detroit. We go to the top of the fifth. George Brett, 0 for 2 today, leading off against Steve Davis. Davis strikes him out. That's two Ks for Steve Davis. Here is Lance Parrish. Parrish 0 for 1 with a walk, and he strikes out. Okay. So now everything is kind of going as planned for the Blue Jays. And then Ken Smith hits a ground ball to third. That was a quick inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth. And it's the top of the lineup. Danny Gonzalez leading off. Gonzalez has struck out both times today. And he's got a 2-2 two -two count. And he gaps it. So, I mean, if this were... Oh, God, it's a triple from Gonzalez. Now we got to pull the infield in. That's his first triple of the year. First triple of his career. We'll pull the infield in. Now, if we were playing my, the Seattle Pilots series, I would just pull Jack Morris here. Clearly, he's terrible. Um, but, you know, it's early on in the season. And uh, we have to kind of see what he's got. Um, so we're going to pull the infield in here. Jeff Hewson leading off. Or not leading off. With a runner on third. Nobody out. 2-2 two -two count. And a base hit the left. So the game is tied. And that's going to be a double for Hewson. Wow, eight hits now given up by Jack. That is his third double of the year. He's only thrown 73 pitches. It's just unbelievable how bad he is this year. There's a ground ball to second. That'll get Houston over. Got to pull the infield in again. Mosby just hit a home run off of Jack last inning. 2-2 count and a base hit up the middle. So the Blue Jays have the lead, and that will be it for Jack. I guess we kept him in there one batter too long. But what a, what a bunch of garbage he is this year. So we have three righties here, and none of them I trust particularly. <laughs> we got to save Carl Willis for the end. So we're going to bring in Gumpy Gumpert. Here's Dave Gumpert. Third appearance of the year, 0-0 oh with a 4.50 ERA. Two walks, two strikeouts. 90 mile an hour fastball. Um, that's his best pitch. He's rated an 82. Overall, he's rated an 80. That's a good rating. Eligible in two seasons. All right. So Gumpert comes in to face Greg Luzinski. 2-2 count to the ball, and he gets him to pop it up to short. Baker makes the catch. Two down. Here is Chris Zabel. Well, Zabel betting 136. He does have a hit today, though. Ground ball in the hole at short, and Baker does make the play. So good job by Gumpy Gumpert. Getting out of the jam. We go to the top of the sixth, and we're down a run now. Blue Jays have put two on the board in back-to-back -back innings. Let's see if we can get the game tied up. We're starting with Glenn Wilson. He popped up with the bases loaded. That would have made all the difference in the world if that if he could have came through in that situation. There's one out. Next up is Greg Brock. And Brock gets his second hit of the day versus a lefty. All right, well, I'm, I'm gaining some confidence that Brock can bat versus lefties. So we have Brock on first, 
We're gonna hit. Uh, we're gonna let Kevin Bass swing away. He's just due for a hit. A ground ball to third. It can't go around the horn. Bass beats it out. Beats the relay throw. Bass on first. Here is Lou Whitaker. Whitaker's 0 for 2 with a strikeout today. He pulls it into right for out number three. We are going to the bottom of the sixth inning. I guess we got to let Gumpert go another one here. Willie Upshaw leading off. Willie strikes out on a pitch that was a foot outside. Gumpert's first K. This feels like a strikeout walk combo. Yep. That was a ground ball. Uh, pitch right on the middle, actually. And he gets a ground ball from Paisley. Baker tosses him out. That was a good at bat. An 11 pitch at bat. Two down. Here is Ruben Amaro Jr. with a 1 2 count. Off the end of the bat into left field. It will be caught by Bass. We are going to the top of the seventh inning. And look at this. They are bringing in a defensive replacement. I feel like this never happens anymore. Omar Marino, former Detroit Tiger in our sim, will come in. He has yet to play this year. Um, he had 65 stolen bases for Baltimore. We tried. We, we, we got him from Pittsburgh. I think that was the deal in which we got Jim Bibby back in 1980. Um, and we tried to make it work, but... But when we were struggling, we were like, okay, let's just trade him and try to get somebody better. And we did. Okay, so Davis is at 89 pitches here in the seventh inning. Doug Baker at the plate. He's one for two today. He rips it into left field. Get down. That's going to be caught by the bolt. One out. We're back to the top of the lineup with Chet Lemon. That's a comebacker to Davis as he's at the century mark in pitches. He could probably go 120 before he gets tired. And George Brett with two down pops it up. Wow, we've got nothing. Nothing since that third inning. We're going to the bottom of the seventh inning, and I think Gumpert's done his job. Taking out Gumpy. And I guess we're going to bring in Roy Thomas. RT making his sixth appearance. My goodness. One and one with a 7.36 ERA. He's walked eight, struck out three. But I think he's pitched well in the last couple. Uh, yeah, he, w he threw an inning versus the Indians uh, on the eighth and on the tenth. And he didn't give up any runs. So that's all you can ask for. Trying to get that ERA down. Denny Gonzalez leading off here in the bottom of the seventh inning. A line drive to the left. Bass making the catch. One out. Here is Jeff Houston. Houston popping it straight up. Wandering over into foul territory on the third base side. Brett making the catch. And Vic Rodriguez. Steps up with two outs. And he pulls it over to George. And Brett makes the play. Okay. So now we've got a new pitcher and another new outfielder. Steve Centeni comes into the game. And Rick Bussetti goes out to left field. That's kind of cool, I guess. They're doing that. So we've got a right-hander into the ball game here. Centeni. Third appearance. 0-0 uh, with a 3 ERA, 3 strikeouts in 6 innings. Opponents betting 223 against him. He was the closer on this team until uh, we gave him Weaver. As you can see, he's, um, he's had double-digit saves the last two years. Fastball tops out at 91 miles an hour. Curveball is his better pitch, though. It's rated an 85. Overall, only a 74. The 28-year-old right-hander is a free agent at the end of the year. Now, Lance Parrish, I would normally pull him out of there and let Kennedy bat. But Lance Parrish is four for 
five with a home run in his career versus Centeni. So let's let my large adult son take a cut. One, two count. Oh, he got it. And there's a tie ball game. I'm going to give him ice cream for dessert tonight. Good job by Parrish. Uh, now, that was a good call by me, too, because I could have very easily just gone with the odds. The game is tied on Parrish's first home run of the season. And now Ken Smith steps up with a chance here to get something going, maybe give us the lead. Oh, he strikes out swinging. I got overly excited there. One out. Glenn Wilson comes to the plate. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. There we go. Let's get an idea of what's going on here. Wilson, one for three with two RBI. Big Willie. Base at the center field. Get down. There we go. Do we want to go for two? No, we do not. Wilson does have six doubles, but he does not have speed. So we have a runner on first. I apologize for my phone. Keep go it keeps going off. I don't know what that's all about. We got Wilson on first. Greg Brock's up. He's had a lot of success today versus lefties. Bet at 314 last year versus righties, and he strikes out. For out number two. That will leave it up to Kevin Bass to get something going. He's over three today. And a ground ball to short. And that will end the inning. Well, we get the uh, get back to even with the Blue Jays on the home run by Lance Parrish. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. And now we can start thinking about matchups. Yeah, we're going to bring in Keith Comstock. I think he is our best lefty-on-lefty lefty kind of guy. His fifth appearance. He's got no record. 338 ERA. Four strikeouts in two and two-third innings. That's amazing. Uh, overall, opponents are betting 200. What's a split? Well, lefties are betting 250. So that's not great. Um, fastball tops out at 92 miles an hour. Changeups is better pitch, rated at an 81, overall 73. The 28-year-old lift lefty is a free agent at the end of the year. He's on the block. I'd trade him if we got an offer, uh, but his rating's not very good, so he might not be wanted. He's going to face Lloyd Mosby, who batted 217 last year versus lefties. 2-1 count and a ground ball to Brock at first. That will do it. Good job by Kami. Now, we're going to bring in Carl Willis. He's our last right-hander available. If we go to extra innings, we're, we're going to be in trouble. But we like Carl Willis. There he is. Got the win in yesterday's ball game. Uh, he's pitched five innings, two walks, one strikeout only. Which is weird because he had 12 strikeouts last year and 16 and two-thirds. This is his first real opportunity to uh, make the team out of spring, spring training. So we're going to cut him a little bit of slack. And Rick Bassetti's up. He's been a Toronto Blue Jay ever since we started the sim with his uh, opportunity kind of diminishing. Here we go. Rick Bassetti with one out. And a base at the center field. Damn it. Bassetti on first. One down. Here's Chris Zabo. We need a double play here to get out of this jam. And Bassetti tries to steal second base. You're bringing your defensive replacement in and having him steal. That is dumb. Great job by Parrish. He might be the unsung hero today. He's two for two, throwing runners out, and he hit the home run to tie the ball game. So Chris Abel has an 0-1 count now, 1-1, as he goes to right, and another base hit. So that's a problem, because now we have a left-hander at the plate. It's Willie Upshaw, and Upshaw is pretty good. Um... Shit. I think we got to just go for it here. This feels like a mistake when we got two lefties in the bullpen.
But I think that's what we got to do. We got we got to take him out. We're going to bring in the creeper, Paul Gibson. That's right, the creeper. It says so right there on his handmade baseball card. Uh, he is the guy that we are giving away the prize. Um, he's pitched an inning in four games, given up two hits and a walk. He has been unreliable. But he is the creeper. Runner on first. Willie Upshaw's average drops down to 289 from 314. First pitch swinging. And Zabo is going and he gets thrown out. Oh my gosh. The Blue Jays are just running themselves out of the inning. That's why they're on an eight game losing streak. Let's get some runs here and get out of this ball game. Don Gordon is the new pitcher. Fifth appearance, 0 1, with a 1260 ERA. Five innings pitched. He's given up seven runs on nine hits and three walks. A couple of dingers. He's got two pitches. Both of them are below league average. Uh, overall in 80, the 24-year-old righty he goes to arbitration in 86. Okay, let's get going here. Sweet Lou leading off. 3-1 count to Lou and a base hit into center field. Leadoff man is on. Oh, do we want to go for two? No, we, that's too much of a risk. We will have... Baker try to lay down a sack bunt. They're pulling the infield there, the corners in. That is the right thing to do. Everybody knows what's going on, but Baker's good at this. We're going to give him a shot. 1-0 count, lays down a good bunt to first. Whitaker is safe at second. So we have the go-ahead run at second. Chad Lemon is up. Lemon is 0-3 with a walk. We need a big hit here. 1-1 one, one count. And there it is! A base hit to center field. Whitaker will score. It is 5-4. Detroit, as the Tigers have come back and taken the lead here in the ninth inning. That's going to bring up George Brett. Now, Brett does not have a hit today either. He's 0-4 for 4 with a strikeout. 2-1 count. And a base hit into a left field. Lemon's going to have to hold, I think. Yeah, he stays at second. So the only Tiger without a hit today is Kevin Bass. First and second. One out. And here's today's hero, Lance Parrish. Three for three behind the plate. Throwing out base runners. And he hit the big home run to tie it up. Let's see what he's got in store here. Full count. And he hits a line drive to second. That should double somebody up. Oh, no, Lemon gets back. Good job. All right, well, he smoked it. Unfortunately, he was right at Rodriguez at second base. First and second. Here's Ken Smith. Smith, one for three with a walk. 2-2 two -two count, and he pops it up. We've got Dave Rucker coming into the ball game now got two lefties as well so this is a good situation Rucker if you didn't notice he's had double digit saves for us over the last two years we do like to go to him in lefty sit save situations and this is his first opportunity this year he's been great and if you look at his splits he gets the righties out um, better than the lefties but both are really great so he is a valuable commodity, and he goes to arbitration at the end of the year. I don't really like to pay relievers, which is kind of why we're in the situation we are in the bullpen. We got rid of Capazello and, and Weaver last year, um, but we might have to keep Rucker. So, bottom of the ninth inning, we got Willie Upshaw leading off. He was at the plate when uh, Zabo was caught stealing for the second time today. And Rucker paints the corner. Look at where he was throwing those pitches. Striking out Upshaw, looking. One down. Kevin Paisley at the plate. He's got a hit today. Drove in a run. Wow. Rucker on a 3-0 count puts it right in the love zone. And Paisley pops it up. He just missed it. And it's down to Omar Marino. This, I believe, is his first at-bat of the year. We said that, right? So Marino's first at-bat of the year. 
we we got to get this guy. If he gets on base, he could run wild here on us. Here we go. One, two count to Moreno. And he strikes him out. Dave Rucker, a one, two, three, ninth inning. When did we ever see that? Tigers win. Five to four. Handshakes, butt slaps, slappy stakes. That was a good ball game. Um, and we have a trade offer. Oh, they keep offering us the same schlubs, don't they? It is the Expos looking for at Dave Gumpy Gumpert. And they're not giving us anybody of any note here. Uh, we don't need another catcher. He's got a 64 rating. And Al Newman is just mad. So we're going to say no. Um, all right, let's take a look at the standings after today's ball game. We are now 6-5 and five on the year in third place, tied with Baltimore. Um, Boston is just working their ER team ERA down after um, New York clubbed them. Look at this. Look at I mean the ERA for the American League is at a 4.79 right now. We're a 3.20. In fact, are we the best? Oh, we have the best ERA in the American. Oh no, I'm sorry, Minnesota. A 2.62 ERA. They have Frank Viola on that team. I think he's coming into his own. They only have two home runs on the year, though. Youch. All right, so Seattle and Oakland are tied, and in the National League, Philadelphia, 10 and 2, Los Angeles, 9 and 3, leading their divisions. Headline news: Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Gus Polidor gets five hits for the Angels. Over the White Sox, it looks like um, two runs scored in RBI. I mean, nothing really exciting. Seattle defeats Oakland to share the division. Mark Langston was on the mound. Gave up three runs on eight hits. The Nozzle, Tom Pagnazzi, two hits and four at-bats. Alvin Davis went three for five. And Ricardo Sainz did well. Okay, transactions. Oh, okay, good. Uh, Tony Gwynn gets a four-year extension for the Padres. I thought it was going to say he was injured. But instead, it's just a contract extension. I'm going to have to update that on my own. I mean, the guy batted 321 exactly the last two years. A 314 lifetime batting average. And my, uh, my favorite hitter ever. And we shared the same birthday. I say that every time, but it's true. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe. Get into the Creeper Contest. Paul, give me, maybe in the comments, instead of just saying you want to be in the contest, maybe give me your best Creeper impression in, uh, in, the, in the comments written out. What would the Creeper say if you saw him outside your bedroom window? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, um, player of the game. We're going to give it to my large adult son, Lance Parrish. He uh, threw out three base runners and hit a home run to tie the ball game up uh, when we took a chance on him to stay in the ball game. So great job by him. Uh, the win goes to the creeper, Paul Gibson. He's 1-0. And Dave Rucker gets a save. Uh, well used in that moment. Our bullpen came in it with after four and a third innings, and we gave up two hits. So that is a legit shutdown bullpen today. Uh, Steve Davis pitched as well as he could, I think. Yeah, but Don Gordon came in and blows it. He's got that 12 ERA. He's 0-2 on the year. Okay, that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with a game 150 of the 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario series. So stay tuned for that. Until then, everyone, have a great day.